Is Utah becoming the new California? Salt Lake City has jokingly been nicknamed Los Angeles. Now why? Well, it's a blend of Wasatch and Los Angeles, mainly because of all the Californians moving here into Utah. So what is all the hype about? The median home price in California is over $700,000. And in LA, it's even higher. Could that buy you a better lifestyle in Utah? Just a year ago, we had over a half a million people from California looking online at Utah real estate. What's the lifestyle difference? What are the advantages that Utah has? Well, for one, taxes are more affordable in Utah. For two, we have the four seasons. We have gorgeous mountains, skiing, boating in the summer, and warm weather as well. How does having these buyers from California affect bidding on homes here in Utah? Well, for one, when it was heated up, we basically saw a lot of cash offers. A lot of people coming from California, not bringing a loan to buy a home, they're bringing cash to buy a home. So having those cash offers basically eliminated the need for having appraisals. Once appraisals were eliminated, you just saw home prices go up and up and up. The reason why home prices were going up and up and up is because people from California and people here locally were all fighting over the same product. With the influx of everybody moving into state and with our own population being one where we're consistently growing, it created massive demand and created a housing shortage of over 30,000 home units. If you're trying to buy a home in Utah, but it's too expensive, here are three locations that are affordable and with some insane potential. The first location is Twila. Twila is only 25 minutes from the Salt Lake City International Airport and 30 minutes from downtown. It is very affordable. There's not a lot of people out there yet, so you get that feeling of being in a more rural, uncrowded area. The second city is Eagle Mountain. Eagle Mountain, you can still find a lot of affordable housing, and it's not that far from Utah's tech center, Silicon Slopes. The third city is Ogden. Ogden is bursting with affordable housing. It's one of the fewer areas where you can still get a home in the $300,000 price range. Ogden also offers great access to lakes, to skiing, and a lot of recreation. There are four lifestyles in Utah. Number one, city life. Here's what you can expect Salt Lake City to feel like when you live there. The median home price is around $500,000. So what does that get you? When you're moving to Salt Lake City, you can either buy for $500,000 a condo or a townhome closer to downtown area, or if you go a little further out from the city center, that still could get you close to 500. So you could go townhome, condo, close to city center, or get yourself a little tiny home just outside of the city. How does Salt Lake City compare to LA? Better. <laughs> less garbage, <laughs> cleaner, less expensive. If you like the look and feel of farm life, but you actually don't want to milk the cows, Lehigh, Utah. Lehigh used to be farmland forever. It gives you that feel of farm life, yet you're still close to all of those high paying jobs in the tech industry. So in Lehigh, you can easily get a home for the $500,000 range. The dream vacation for many and the actual living place for a few, Park City, Utah. What are some Utahns love about Park City? They love being able to have a ski in, ski out home on the slopes. That is what the lifestyle of a lot of Utah's affluent looks like. Utah is known for its ski slopes, but there's one part of Utah that can get overlooked. St. George. St. George is a favorite I would say more Utahns visit St. George than even Park City. It is where it is warm, it's beautiful with red rock, it is gorgeous. St. George is where all the snowbirds disappear to in the winter. A snowbird is someone who gets away from the cold weather and gets away from the snow and they go south. And that's where a lot of people go um, in the winter from Utah. A lot of my friends are just like that. They may own homes down there or they do Airbnb. In St. George, you can easily go down there and get a condo, maybe for $300,000 or you could buy a home up into the millions. Now, a cool thing about St. George is there are areas where you can rent out your home legally nightly. So a lot of people may buy a home down there that is going to be run by a management company and rent it out nightly. That way you can make your getaway vacation an investment. What does the future of Utah look like? And here's the good, the bad, the ugly of living in it. The great thing about Utah is you can own your own home. You can forget unemployment and just love the calm of 
living here. If you own a home, it's only going to get better for you. In the future, Utah is going to continue to grow over the next 20 to 40 years, and it's going to become more diverse. The bad part about living in Utah, the rent is only going to keep getting more expensive and leave you with less flexibility on gaining your own personal wealth. If you're looking to move to Utah or rent, your window is shrinking. Pricing is only going to keep going up. As with all major hotspots, income inequality is only going to increase. This means limited access to the best education, healthcare, and reduced social mobility. So you may want to start looking at saving up for that home now. Utah's future risks facing this very ugly reality. As with all diverse cities or states, political polarization starts to take place. Think of it as stubborn people getting even more stubborn. Maybe you're scared about buying a home. Maybe you don't have the access to the cash yet. If you're saving up for a home, a great idea is to find somewhere where rent is cheap. You can do this by renting an ADU from someone. An ADU is when someone rents out a portion of their house. And if you rent from them, your rents are gonna be cheaper than renting your own house or renting an apartment. The best locations where rents are cheaper are gonna be further out from city center here in Utah. So those areas are gonna be like Ogden, Eagle Mountain, and Tooele. If you're buying a home, think of these areas that are 30 minutes out from the hot spots. Because as pricing goes up in the hot spots, people continue to move out. Like all housing markets, Utah will continue to get more expensive and see similar pricing just like California. People that can afford the pricing usually stay. Those who don't may end up moving to cheaper states. States. You want to own your home at that point. So you're locked in on your home in a thriving state. Or you can rent it out for great income. And if you're still renting at that point, you're going to be looking at Wyoming or Idaho. If you want to own a home, click or tap on the video on the screen where I go over the four ways you can get a low monthly mortgage payment in 2023. Otherwise, rent on.